Hey everyone, welcome to Her Say. So excited to be here with Allison from AllieOnTheGo.com. And my beautiful daughters are here today at the studio. So mwah, I love you guys. Okay, our first story comes from Babel. Makeover salons for toddlers. What is your feeling here? Makeup, hair, fake tattoos and nails. I'm really curious what everyone's thoughts are. I'm just wondering if it's teetering on the side of like toddlers and tiara and the pageant thing for little kids. Well, I guess the question is how much is, is too much? Let's talk about the stir. Okay, so a mom lost her job after going to a kid's concert and bringing her kid and the kid got sick and threw up. It was at a Glee concert and basically she was she was a critic and she wrote the article as if she had been there for the whole show. Unfortunately, she had to leave. And what do you think about this? Well, I'm a, I'm a former magazine editor and I've covered all kinds of events from travel to fashion to serious issues. And I, I will say that if I had kind of pieced together a little fake story, that's a firing offense, and I would understand that. What do you guys think? Please write in, tell us your thoughts. Okay, on Refinery29, it seems the latest trend is stiletto nails, a trend that Lady Gaga, Beyonce, among other rock stars have been sporting on stage. So if you wanna to go to Refinery29, you can see how one of their editors actually tries them out and then tries to text. Okay, anyone out there want to start a business from their home? Here's a great story from Dana Weinrot, who literally started this very cool business on eBay where she took gentle hand-me-downs. She has over 600 clients now. So awesome, amazing stuff. Check out how she did it. I was very overwhelmed at first because selling things on eBay is just can be a very daunting experience for most people. I was working out of my bedroom when I started and stuff started piling up after a few people started getting to me, wanting me to sell their items. My husband was like, you, you gotta do this. You gotta move, you gotta go get an office. Pricing is a big deal when you are selling things for other people because it's not just right out of your closet. You wanna make your clients happy and so you wanna try and get as much as you possibly can. Um, but it presents a challenge to knowing what that item price should be. Now I'm just at a point where I kind of just, I know, you know, I can tell by the brand, by the condition of it, and what I'm gonna sell it for. Accessories are number one. Clothing is a lot harder because people really, a lot of people wanna try clothes on. Shoes, purses are always great because you don't have to do anything with purses. Wallets, sunglasses, I'd say those are the easiest items to sell. It's really interesting to see what people are willing to spend for things, which is what makes the business so interesting because I know it's cliche to say, but your trash is someone else's treasure. I had a client bring me a few Chanel nail polishes. One was this very interesting light green jade color. I researched it online and found that another one had recently sold for $350. I just listed it at $350, buy it now, and it sold in less than 24 hours. This kind of business is really a kind of business that anyone can start. Even starting out of your home absolutely is 100% doable. I think that this approach is so much better than opening up your own store. When you're in a retail store, you have to wait for foot traffic. You're open 10 to six or whatever. With eBay, you know, my store is open 24 hours a day. I wake up in the morning to, you know, 20 sales. I don't think it's a business model that's ever gonna go anywhere. People are looking for discounts. People do not wanna pay retail and it works. Okay, how incredible is that? I know, she make, she's making so much money on the resale. Yes, now speaking of fashion finds, I was so excited. I found this fantastic vintage dress for $75 and I was so excited because I wore it this past weekend to the Butterfly Ball, which is such an incredible organization, Chrysalis. Please go to changelives.org to learn more about this incredible charity. Thank you so much for joining us at Hersey. We love having you. Thank you to my girls who came to visit today. Come back to hersay.com every day and don't don't forget to sign up for our daily newsletter. Bye.